I have to check on the hens. Oh, they're still out. All right, ladies, get out of here. Yeah, I'm out trying to clean out the coop, um, rushing before they come in and start getting into the roosts. So I am going to clean this out really quickly, and then I'm going to take you on a little tour of what we have done since our last coop update, which was like months ago. Um, is it done? No, but there's a few kind of updates that we did. So I'll let you know what those are. All right, inside the coop, this is our nesting box. We only have one, um, get some eggs in there. We did have another one here, but the thing about chickens is they kind of only like to use the same one. Doesn't matter how many you have, they want to use one. So this is the one that they use. We put this up here because they were sitting on there and they were sleeping at night and they were pooping. We don't want that to happen. Um, we fixed up the roosts. How are you doing up there, lady? Um, we had different roosts at the beginning. We had roosts that were coming down from the wall, but Dominic put them up here, so now they're roosting all together, which is great. We added a thermometer gauge so we can see what temperature it is in the coop. Um, usually during the day, it's pretty much the same as it is outside, but at night it gets a little bit warmer. We also added a window. There you go, bud. She's gonna end up... She's gonna end up in the nesting box for sure. Um, we have this little door here, close this at night. And yeah, oh, up in the ceiling. The ceiling was, um, the ceiling was open. It has a metal roof on top, but because they're up there, it was getting really hot and this was causing condensation and it was getting really wet in here and you can't have moisture in your coop. It can be cold, but it cannot be moist because the chickens cannot deal with it. So um, there has, there's insulation and more OSB up here. Um, what's next? This ladder was put in by Dominic so that we can get up into the coop. Um, he's fixing that door. He put this soffit up here so we have our ventilation. Close him up. She's up. Good night, ladies. Major change was we've got hardware cloth now all around here. It was just chicken wire. You can see it underneath, but we have changed it to hardware, hardware cloth all around the coop to keep out predators. All right, last bit of security is uh, hardware cloth in the bottom. I put in some extra boards to make it really look ugly, but I don't care as long as the chickens are safe. And then we're gonna put a layer, one more layer of hardware cloth on the outside. You can see there's chicken wire and stuff there now, and I don't think the dog would be able to pull out through these boards because the chicken wire is actually nailed on inside, or uh, stapled on inside. But I figure hardware cloth outside with uh, two by twos over it to secure it on. And then uh, the extra chicken wire inside, plus I'm buried. I mean, if he gets in at this point, there's no stopping them anyway, so we'll see. Hopefully these chickens will be safer than the last bunch. Still feel bad about those guys. What do you guys think? They're really starting to look good. They were so ratty looking. We've had them about, what, two weeks now, I guess? But they were in hard shape. Like, you could see visible shafts on their wings, the feather shafts and stuff. I don't know if that was normal molting or what, but the the blue guys over there in the trees, I don't know how well you guys can see them, but 
their rear ends were just raw, like no feathers on them at all. And now they're looking pretty healthy, so. Happy so far, I wish we still had the beautiful chickens we used to have with the different varieties and stuff, but we got our chickens back and the kids are enjoying it, so that's the main thing. Now let's see if we can keep these ones alive. So you can see some of the paint is coming off the coop there. It's raining all morning though, and uh, and I don't know if it's gonna get much better this week, so I'm gonna have to wait for a day where I get a couple of days in a row to uh, repaint again. But I've got it super secured now down here. It's good, strong hardware cloth. It's all fastened in with either two by twos or in the front and the side, like underneath the coop. It's uh, I put two by six over it all. So, and I put in extra boards. It looks ugly as sin now, but, uh, you know, it wasn't going to win any carpentry prizes anyway. Um, but I think any ground dweller is not going to get it. So the only thing I got left that's concerning me, and I haven't heard that there's any here yet, but the raccoons are, are on the island now. Um, and I saw one dead on the road across the ferry, so I guess it's not going to be long before they are here. So I reckon I should probably... Uh, get the top more secure so that's the that's what I'm gonna do now but they usually come in the night chickens are inside barred up tight in the nighttime so um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna put chicken wire across the top it seems like it's a never ending job this chicken is gonna probably do we'll turn out to be that later. Inside the run, let's see, we have got a sand bath, so there is a tire here with sand in it, and it looks like they haven't really been in it yet, I think they've just been pooping in it, but the idea is that they'll take their sand baths in there. Um, all under here is opened up. We're going to make it a little bit nicer, but they like going under there when it's raining. This is how they get out. And Dominic needs to add, I think he did actually. He must have done that recently, but um, he added more of these so that they can get out and jump down. They usually don't come as far as here. They get down to here and they, they just jump over. Um, the water is up on a little block so it doesn't freeze. It's still snowy, so they put lots of hay in there. Um, another thing he added was a handle. so that we can open and close the thing. That's pretty much it. Oh, he also, it is painted red and white. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. But yeah, so that's basically it. That's our coop. Um, it's still a work in progress, but those are the updates that we've made so far.